Tonight on Sci Size on the Skies. <laughs> well, it was pretty windy across the state today. I'll have more on that coming up. And plus, Anthony has your national forecast, all that and more as this Thursday, April 11th edition of Sci Size on the Skies starts right now. Live from Studio 171 in Ames, Iowa, the Iowa State Meteorology Department team of meteorologists brings you the latest weather from around the country and out your front door. Iowa State's longest-running television program and the only live weather broadcast on campus starts right now. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes. I'm now joined by Natalie. Natalie, it's been pretty windy out for the past two days. Are those winds finally going to die down? Yeah, it, tonight our winds are going to finally die down, and it is going to get a little bit warmer as we go into the next few days, but thankfully. Not yeah, not tomorrow, but currently we are sitting at 51 here in Ames. Across the state, we have a lot of different temperatures 37 over in Sioux City, and then 57 down in Burlington. So it's a pretty wild day outside today. And I'll have more on that coming up later. All right. And now it's time for tonight's weather story. On this day in 2001, a significant severe weather outbreak produced 28 tornadoes across Iowa, which is the all-time state record for a single day. Most of these were towards the weaker end of the Fujita scale, but there were two deaths and at least three injuries when a tornado struck agency in Wapawo County. One particularly long-lived tornado moved from northern Missouri to Madison County, causing extensive damage in Ringgold County. Large hail is also reported, ranging up to golf ball size at Parkersburg, and there were scatter reports of 70 to 85 mile per hour wind gusts with the worst straight-line wind damage in Blackhawk and Franklin counties. Well, that was a major storm. And now here's Anthony with a look at what's going on around the country. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, and good evening on this blustery Thursday across really a large chunk of the country out there. Here is that big system that worked its way through the Midwest, dropping snow in Minneapolis, upwards of several feet of snow with this system in several parts of the country. I'll time this out and let you know when it's going to finally get at your doorstep next. Welcome back, and now here's Anthony with a look at what's happening around the nation. Good Thursday evening to you. Like I said, this whole big storm system is now finally working its way into portions of the northern plains and out of our area here in the Midwest. You can see this very pronounced spin right here in the atmosphere, a very dynamic low pressure system working its way through the Midwest. And as we zoom it in here for you, you can see on the colder portions of this system, Lots and lots of snow, several feet with this system uh, that has really kicked up a punch as it's working its way through. On the warmer side of this, kind of a mix near Green Bay, showers and potentially thunderstorms working their way uh, in the warmer sector of this. And as we zoom here, like I said, Chicago, this is really toward the western portion of your area right now, but I would not be surprised if this works its way in here in the next couple of hours. But just a mess, though, if you're driving up near Green Bay. So make plans for that. And with this system, it's kind of lighting up our watches and warnings map right here. As we zoom it in, blizzard watches and warnings extending uh, into portions of the Dakotas near Minneapolis. Minneapolis, you're in a winter storm warning right now. And because of the, the really pressure gradients is what causes wind, that's what's kicking up some high wind warnings and advisories off here in portions of eastern Iowa, stretching all the way down into Illinois, back into Indiana. And you can see this system pretty clearly here on our temperature map, 47 in Des Moines, and some of this warmer air kind of getting sucked up into this system as it's just all spinning around here. 34 in Sioux Falls, 36 in Minneapolis, so plenty of cool air to work with for that snow uh, where that system is pushing its way through. Nationally, here we go, 40 degrees in Buffalo, 65 in Pittsburgh. Look at that, 79 degrees in Cincinnati, a very nice day off in uh, the Ohio Valley. 80 degrees in Montgomery, excuse me, 78 in Jackson, and a little bit cooler off here in the west, 64 in LA, 56 in San Francisco, but still a fairly uh, comfortable day out there. 46 in Missoula, 45 in Idaho Falls, 40 in Billings, and it just gets colder as you work your way east. So here's Futurecast, let's time this out for you. We're gonna start it at 6.30 tonight, 
there's this big system with the dry slot working its way down to the south. Rain in Iowa, lots of snow in portions of the Dakotas. And as we time this out here, uh, this system is really going to work its way off to the east. Chicago, definitely thunderstorms with this, potentially thunderstorms heading into eastern Iowa later tonight. And then it's finally going to just kind of work its way out of here. It's caused a mess, though, with lots of snow and thunderstorms, like I said. Drier air works in behind this. Omaha, clear for Saturday before maybe a couple clouds working their way in here. And then the Midwest this weekend uh, should look fairly dry to start our Saturday and Sunday. And then as we push this through here, it's going to calm down just a little bit after this system works its way through. This weekend, though, down towards our south, that's a different story. Severe weather expected on Saturday. This one could be a big one with pot potent storms out there, uh, plenty of moisture to work with, plenty of instability out there. Enhanced risk right here in this kind of tan color. Dallas, you're on the outside edge of this slight risk, but I plan for some severe storms. And this really stretches all the way back towards uh, not quite Atlanta, but really a big chunk of the south of, of the country right there. So just plan for that. Uh, Champaign, Illinois, here's our extended forecast. 70% chance of rain on Friday, 57 degrees, upper 50s. And then as we head into next week, uh, we're kind of doing a roller coaster with temperatures 71 on Tuesday before we make it into the upper 50s by next Thursday. Well, thanks for that great national forecast, Anthony. And here's our riveting trivia question for tonight. What percentage, what percentage of tornadoes occur in multi-sales? Is it A, 40%? B, 60%, C, 80%, or D, 90%. We'll have your answer coming right up, and now let's take a look at the week ahead with Natalie. Thanks, Matt. Uh, hold on to your hats. Like I said earlier, it is going to be wi pretty windy throughout the night. You might even need to bring out your coat tomorrow. Again, it's going to be really cold with highs in the 40s. Uh, but again, a relaxing weekend coming ahead. Uh, as we go into the weekend, it's going to be a little bit nicer. Oh. All right. Currently here in Ames, though, we are sitting at 46 degrees with winds out of the southwest at 20 miles, 21 miles per hour. It's, again, really windy out. Uh, it feels like 38 degrees. So, again, really cold. I would suggest wearing a coat as you go out for the rest of the evening. Like I said earlier, we are sitting at 35 in Sioux City, and then we get all the way to 57 down in Burlington. So we have a really break. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back. As I said earlier, we are sitting around 46 degrees here today. Um, winds are out of the southwest at 21 miles per hour, so it is pretty windy across Ames. Uh, wear your coats and get ready for the wind to keep going throughout the night. Um, as I said earlier, Carol, you're sitting at 39, so a little warmer. 40 up in Mason City and 48 in Cedar Rapids. So we do have a lot of uh, temperature differences as we go across the state today. Looking into our radar for the rest of the night, all that rain looks like it will stay off to our east. Ames, it looks like we'll be pretty cloudy, but maybe getting a little bit of rain coming in through the night. Uh, looking into the uh, next few days, uh, we do have, that ch again, that chance for some sprinkles tonight. Um, going in through tomorrow, we have um, our clouds coming in through the day, and, but we do have that snow up to our north. So if you are up in Spencer and Mason City, I would look out for that. Uh, as we keep going into our Friday evening, it uh, looks like the clouds are going to clear up for most of the, of the state. Ames, you'll probably say a little bit cloudier. Um, as we go into Saturday, those clouds are, are going to come back, and the whole state is going to be mostly cloudy as well. So, um, <laughs> sorry, uh, we're going to stay cloudy on Sunday afternoon. Morning, sorry, we do have a chance for some rain and some snow down to um, the so southeastern part of the state. So again, look for that before you go out, if you go out at any time in the morning on um, Saturday. Uh, tonight here in Ames, we are sitting at about 31 degrees, uh, winds at about 15 miles per hour. So it is going to stay pretty breezy across the state. Uh, as we go into tomorrow, uh, it's going to be about 43 degrees uh, here in Ames. Uh, pretty cloudy, so again, I'd bring out your coats. But we do uh, have some hope coming up for us, 43 tomorrow. But as we go into the next part of the week, we get all the way up to 68, per, uh, 68 degrees, and then we drop down a little bit again. Well, thanks, Natalie. And now here's our trivia question once again. What percentage of tornadoes occur in multi-cells? Is it A, 40%, B, 60%, C, 80%, or D, 90%? So what do you guys think? I'm going to go with B on this one, 60%. just seems like a pretty you know, think? even count. Yeah. 
what do you think, Natalie? I would actually go more with a 40%. We are actually studying this in my research project right now in 301, so I guess I'll find out in a little while, too. So we have a 60%, and we have a 40%, and I believe we have a Twitter poll. Let's Ooh. see what our uh, followers think. Because we're big on Twitter. Yeah, we have I, a lot I of Twitter I believe when I checked this, there was like five people. Ooh. Oh, more than that. I don't know if it was updated. But it looks like most 50% of our votes say A, 40%. Nobody said B. Wow. So Thank you're you guys in, for supporting <laughs> me. You're in the minority. I, I really appreciate it. Um, a third of our voters said C, <laughs> and 17% of our voters said B. So hmm. what is that answer for this? It is A, 40%. A. So this yeah. caught me off guard. We talked about this at 417 on Tuesday. And I honestly thought that there'd be less tornadoes from multi-cells. But yeah. I guess in Iowa, a lot of them happen from multi-cells. Uh, this weekend, they're going to be looking at some potential tornadoes in the south. It's going to be an active day, I think, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So make sure to stay tuned. Yeah. Well, Will it be active here in Iowa? Oh, not really. Okay, it's looking like it's not really going to be active. A little bit warmer, though. That's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> we need to get back to average temperatures and make it feel like April. Yes. And, well, I'm going to keep this short tonight. So that concludes tonight's show. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can find every show on our YouTube channel under Size Eyes. Thank you for joining us. And we'll hopefully see you on Tuesday.